Hey, what's up folks? Life with Brock here with a custom tip. I'm here at my workbench, AKA my kitchen table. I've had quite a few of you contact me and ask me how you crack torsos. It's, uh, it, the, qu the answer is gonna be, it depends. Uh, we're gonna start with modern Marvel Legends and then we're gonna try to move on to Toy Biz era figures. It's gonna be a similar idea. If you can see here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, you see the seam right here? This is where the figure has been glued together also here at the waist. That's what you're gonna wanna crack open. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need some little Dremel bits and it doesn't have to be Dremel, it could be another uh, drill brand. But I am gonna use, if you can see there's different sizes. I picked this up, I think I picked this up at Walmart. I'm gonna use the 564th bit it's a bit that I found, uh, it's a good size to use. And you're gonna need a drill or a rotary tool. I'm gonna be using this old Dremel that has this bit on the top. You need a tool that's gonna be able to catch that, that bit, and this one works for me. And then what I like to use is this, I picked it up at a, I think I picked this up at a swap meet. I think it's for a watch tool some sort of watch wrench, I'm not sure. But the reason I like this, it's because once I make the hole, I'm gonna insert this and then that's what I'm gonna use to crack the torso. Hopefully it'll work first time around. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to go in a little bit heavier handed uh, to open it up. You gotta remember there's many different ways to skin a cat. As the expression says, this is not the only way to crack a torso, this is just the way that I found to be work for me. Whenever you're using uh, a drill, whenever you're doing something that can fly out into your eyeball, make sure you wear safety goggles. All right, I'm gonna be making an insertion actually right here because I'm gonna open up the figure from the bottom, but I'm gonna open it up here so that way you know. This is a figure that I can use uh, for many different parts. I'm just gonna take that out right now. and a little bit higher. And I'm gonna show you uh, what what the difference is. Now when you go in and to insert this tool, you want the plastic to be cool because what, what happens is if you go in right away, uh, this plastic is gonna be heated up from the friction and what it, what it happens is cheap plastic, so you're gonna go in and it's gonna stretch out. And I don't want that uh, to happen, so I'm gonna cool it off. Uh, either I just let it sit for a little bit or I run it under cool water give it a go and see what happens. So that way, if it screws up, you guys can see what I mean. All I'm doing is just, I'm putting it in that hole and then I'm gonna try to break it. Okay, and then what, okay, you heard that crack? That's a good sign because that means the glue is splitting apart. So you can see it, it split and you heard that snap, that's the snap that you wanna hear. Let's do it on this side now. not hearing the snap on this side. And it may have been because I went higher and I may have gotten that peg that snaps in. There we go. So now that's split open. All right, so I'm running into the issue that it doesn't wanna split up here. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna drill some holes right, right through his neck, his traps, I should say. that snap that's a good sound all right and that's how you crack a torso it sometimes takes a while and this is what I wanted to show you if you've never seen an inside of a figure Logan is actually on messenger right now telling me thank you that I'm doing this video <laughs> all right let me see how, how I did here okay 
So let's take a look at this because some of you may have never seen a figure, an inside of a figure before. So when I drilled in, one I went higher and the other one I went lower. And as you can see, there's two pegs right there. And that's what holds the figure together or part of the, see how it pegs in there? And that's your ab crunch. So if you drill at the wrong spot, if I were to, if I would have drilled here, and I've done it before, and I and I just tear away this peg, and uh, sometimes it it causes it to, well, not be able to hook on, and then the ab crunch won't work. So this is the other part of the figure, and this is what pegs it in to here. So what a lot of the customizers will do is they, they remove the, the neck peg and then they'll shave this down. And then they will shave down along the, uh, just any part that will cause friction. And then when you add the new paint to the figure, the primer and the paint, then it rubs off the paint. So you wanna, any point that you think is gonna make, um, it's gonna have friction. So th this area right here, you wanna sand, you wanna sand this area you wanna sand this bottom part too, right here, because this is what's possibly gonna have friction with that waste piece. All right, let me put these aside. So I'm gonna drill a hole here, here, and possibly here, so I can crack and open this piece, and then you're, you're gonna see what it looks like. And if not, then I'll go up to the upper part. go and that split it open there we go okay so that did crack it open So that's the equivalent of this. And this is what you're gonna have to mod to fit, and it looks like it's fitting perfectly. Or somewhat perfectly. So you get the idea you'd have, and that's what you would get. And that's how it, this figure fits here. I'm gonna try and see if, if, I, if it was glued tightly. Yeah, and this figure is, is, is not too bad. What you would wanna do, obviously, is you're gonna wanna build it up here now with epoxy so you can fill in the sculpt, but that's just part of customizing. Let's bring up the old Toy Biz figure that I've already connected. I connected this piece. But now the reason that this was connected the way it was, so I had part of this. It wasn't, it, this had been cut off. I didn't have a peg, anything, and it was just missing part of uh, missing part of it. So what I did was I cracked the, uh, the lower half yesterday, took out the legs, and then I shaved it, and then I, pretty much glued it and then put sculpt around that I have to do a lot of cleanup there. All right, let's do it. let's try it. Hopefully it cracks on the first try. The snap. All right. That's a good sound. Beautiful. Look at that. 
That actually was easier to do than the uh, the Marvel Legend because I'm guessing that this is better quality plastic. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Now this had gotten loose, this arm right here for whatever reason had gotten loose, but now this is working out great because I'm gonna be able to address the issue of why it was, I don't know why it was loose. But with that being said, it looks like I lost one of these pieces right here, see that? And it was because I drilled right into it. So I'll be gluing that back together. But there you go, that's how you crack uh, the figure. So if you're ever gonna crack a Toy Biz figure, it looked like it was pretty darn easy. The only thing that I failed was, I, since I didn't really know where things were, I bit into the, the, uh, the waist joint. And you see that's where the uh, the ab crunch happens. So that's how you crack a figure. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the contents below. And there you have it, folks. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Time, time.